Well, no, they can't. But you got to remember, I live in small town Montana, and small businesses don't give a shit about federal laws. They just do whatever they do because it's small town Montana, right? Nobody cares about what happens in Mayberry, so to speak. <laughs> you know, so, so. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! We got Ali Pants back in the building. <laughs> TikToker extraordinaire. What's going on, little lady? How you feel this morning? Oh, I'm all right. Not too bad for the crack of, what, 10? <laughs> well, let, let me just start off by saying, I, I, you know, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And that's one of the reasons uh, why I stopped, you know, sort of like promoting my company, uh, telling people where I work at, telling people who I drive for. You know, I used to do that when I was a rookie. Um, I, uh, you know, mentioned U.S. Express uh, plenty of times in my videos, had the truck in my videos, had my truck number in the videos. And, and you know, at that time, you know, I, I'm a rookie, you know, and, and getting my YouTube channel, you know, up to status. And it really didn't matter because, you know, Dave was like, well, you know, if you, if you, uh, you know, kind of referral somebody over to the to the company. We'll give you a thousand dollars. I only got like maybe like one, mm -hmm. you know. But but yeah. So um, moving on to J and R Shugel, which I really put J and R Shugel on the map so much so that you know later down the line they was you know they offered me an outside deal you know to you know to become like an ambassador type deal to the company and you know and i told them okay. when i accepted i told them i was like look you know i ain't gonna sugarcoat anything i'm not gonna you know I, i'm not gonna read no script or anything like that i mean i am who i am i mean you know, they, you know, the people yeah, you're maintain creative control. Right. You know, and that's I said the people is not going to get what I get, you know, when I when I promote the company and I'm not going to sugarcoat the company to the people of what they can get. Like if you 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 offer 55 cent a mile and you say per diem is like 20 cent of that. So technically it's 30 cent a mile that you actually offering. You know, and I said, I'm going to let people know that it was like, well, no, we, we cool. Keep doing what you're doing the way you do it. But um, when I got with smaller companies, you know, when I got with smaller Ohio companies, especially uh, in particularly Wooster Motorways, they wasn't hiring outside of the radius of 50, 50 plus miles. So it wasn't no point of me coming on advertising or promoting the company to anybody that was outside of that radius because it is what it is and then i started getting wind of other youtubers coming on you know talking about how people call their companies on some meager shit on some bullshit they see a video they don't like or they hear me conversating or say something and they want to call my company and get me you know get me terminated or something like that mess up my money mess up my livelihood why for what i mean you sitting at home not doing nothing watching mm -hmm. which you should be getting up and doing something with yourself so mm -hmm. you know i i just wanted i just wanted to say that you know, because I, I know that there's plenty of reasons why you don't uh, mention or promote your company. So with right. that with that said, let's let's start before we get into the controversy. What actually happened to you when you did mention that somebody did call your company? And how did you find out that, you know, somebody called your company on you? So about this time last year, um, I had posted a video about traffic, 
it was just a traffic video. It was about merging of all things in construction. And it went viral. It blew up. And it went crazy right off the bat. Within an hour, it had, I don't know, something like 100,000 views. And this guy, one guy, nameless, faceless wonder, like always, right? Never not somebody who's got content, but uh, it had, or no content, rather. But he is messaging me about how angry he is at me for this video. And I was like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but, you know, feel free to move on. The video, not a big deal. And he's expressing how much he hates people like me and how terrible I am and I should lose my license, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to laugh at him like, yeah, okay, whatever, bud. Hold, like, hold, oh, hold on. All, all this heard. <laughs> all, all this over a traffic video, like proper merging and merging, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah. What what yeah. the hell he, yeah, he got to be like mad it. for? What 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 was the gist of Great his question. What was the gist of his anger? Um, I don't know. I think he was just uh, I, I don't I don't know. How do you how do you tell what they're anger angry about today, you know? You could blink wrong and somebody's going to be like, "You know what? That was crap. You're done." You know, it, it just depends. You never know what anybody's going to be angry about, right? That's the downside of the internet. You never know what's going to trigger who. So he ended up going through my entire content log. And I have thousands of videos. And I've been doing this thing for like three years now. And evidently, when I very first started three years ago, I had a video of the tanker I was driving that caught the mud flap with the logo on it. So he researched all that stuff and called that employer. Now, thank God I wasn't working for that employer anymore. But he called that employer. And then that employer gave him the name of my next employer. And he started trying, work, trying to work up the chain to find wait, out where I was working currently. Wait, wait, wait. How, how the past employer was able to give the... Give give the information of your current employer. They can't they can't do that, can they? Well, no, they can't. But you got to remember, I live in small town Montana, and small businesses don't give a shit about federal laws. They just do whatever they do because it's small town Montana, right? Nobody cares about what happens in Mayberry, so to speak. <laughs> you know, so so. Out of reflex, that's what they did. That's part of the reason I left this company is because of things like that. Uh, and so the guy wasn't able to get past the next employer because they couldn't remember where I went to work at. But I learned my lesson then and there. And I took every bit of video out that had any kind of an employer in it. Because I'm like, not only is it just terrible form for me, it looks really bad on me, but... I just don't see why an employer should have to deal with that. I cannot imagine being on the phone at office headquarters having to field one of those calls. Well, your driver may be mad on the internet, and I think you should fire them for it. I, I can't imagine taking that phone call. You know what I mean? It's like, how ridiculous can you get? <laughs> so that's how, that was my experience with it last year. Wow, that's that's crazy. All all because of a traffic video. You you're a truck driver, professional truck driver like I am. We sit up, we see traffic as a whole, and we can see the ills and the and and the and the disrespectful drivers. Not only not only in cars, but in trucks too. And you decided to you know make a video about it, explaining proper etiquette in driving on the highways merging uh -huh. giving us our space not cutting us off uh -huh. and and somebody got in their feelings about that that's crazy yeah they started off being angry this guy started off stating that he was angry about how i handled this merging situation and then as soon as i said hey dude if one time, I'm sorry that you got any feelers about it, duly noted that you were unhappy, I will file that in the back of my head 
And then he switched to, well, I'm not mad about the merging. I'm not mad about the traffic. I'm mad that you were filming while you were driving. And I said, well, dude, it was hands-free. It's all no touch. It's no different than the cameras that the company puts in the, in the cab to do the same thing. That I'm not, it's not like I'm holding it there, you know? Thank you. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. A lot of these companies, you know, they, you know, they they got policies in place on on electronic devices, not just not just cell phones. Now they got it. They they widen the net as far as electronic devices goes. Now is now is portable cameras. Uh, you know, anything recording, recording, having a GoPro on your forehead, uh, you know, because they, they, they tend to, they tend to think that all that is distractive, you know, it, it takes away from what you're actually be doing, you know, live streaming while driving, uh, uh, filming while driving, talking while the camera is either off of you while driving. You know they, you know they they all consider that safety issues now. You know back then, long time ago, it really wasn't. Yeah, uh, really wasn't a big deal. But yeah, you it's know, a liability thing, right? Yeah, it's now more it, people are doing it, and they're right. afraid that liability is going to go through the roof, and that's fair enough. I get it. And I used to do all that stuff, right? Like, all, well, almost all of it, all hands-free, right? None of it would be, uh, you know, not hands-free or anything of the sort. But I finally, uh, after that episode and just kind of, I guess, maturing in my knowledge of how the internet works, uh, decided, yeah, it's not a good idea. So I don't do it anymore. No. Yeah, right? exactly. I very rarely very good. Very good. Like I very, said, I used to. Rarely. I used to do it. They try to find your company. Hey, your driver is over here recording while driving and not being a safe driver. And then you'll get, you know, yeah. with these one and done companies call you in a in a, in a in a safety office for whatever reason, which is never good. And just be like, hey, you know, right. we got a video of you not paying attention. Yada yada yada. We're gonna have to let you go. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's people like nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Ha 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 ha. I'll show you. I'm gonna tell mommy. Like, oh God. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> with with all that said, um, so, Allie, you you in the midst of a controversy with with another TikToker. Uh, I, I want to say That's he's. Horrible. I yeah. want. I want to say he's lightweight, well known. I I have conversated with him. Uh a few times back in the day and i was surprised when i came across your video on it and i was like you know i i, I messaged you behind the scenes and i'm like wait are you talking about the walmart guy because usually the walmart guy mm -hmm. comes out and give pretty good uh pretty good if not decent information about walmart and you know other you know other things or topics so mm -hmm. unfortunately y'all y'all two must have got into a tizzy for him to block you what was what's what's going on between y'all two well see that's the whole point is we didn't i haven't done a damn thing i actually really looked up to max a lot he's one of my favorite people i've said many times he's my favorite tiktoker and so what ended up happening is he got into uh, an argument with a really close friend of mine and a really close friend of mine called him out, said, Hey, I don't appreciate what you're doing. Uh, it's not cool. Take the video down. And he, instead of those two, and it's all, I put the onus on both of them, quite frankly, instead of those two scheduling a time to talk it out, like individually as adults, uh, they kept firing back and forth at each other. And it ended up in that guy called his company and said, hey, uh, 
I don't think that it was right what your driver did. Can you ask him to take it down? Every day for the last 10 years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? It doesn't matter. You know, the, the, the hard, the company, I don't know if you got that or not, you broke up a little bit, but the, the company did have to do with the dispute. It was about what was going on at the company. But here's the thing. I personally, I think they they both handled it wrong. I see the issue. I validate. So back to what I was saying is the dispute that they had directly involved with the company was about what was going on at the company. And I validate 100% why my friend was upset. He had a right to me. But the problem that I have is that I feel like both of them handled it so improperly. And I can't tell either one of them that because neither one of them will see that part of it that that they handled incorrectly. So I don't tell anybody anything because who am I to say, yeah, who am I to say how somebody is going to respond to something? That's not my business, if, you know? If you feel for both of them, then why did Max uh kind of like pointed you out individually though what, what what happened that's a great question i would love to know that answer i mean you want to talk about just stop me in the gut out of nowhere it's a total sucker punch is what it is it's a sucker punch i had nothing to do with it he had messaged me and asked why this guy blocked him and i said i don't know did he block you? Like, what's up? And then he said, well, he must have over that video. And I said, oh, that one video? And he's like, yeah. And I said, basically, the upshot of that conversation was I said, it'd be a shame for you guys to lose your friendship over company policies that have nothing to do with either one of you. And I left it at that. And then now all of a sudden, boom, it's my fault. I'm, I'm a, quote, cohort i'm his quote gal pal who needs to quote admit it admit what say my business why are you making it my business you know so that's why i made my video and then he blocked me so it's not like i could even private message him and be like what the hell dude i thought we were friends you told me that no matter what happens you love me I couldn't even private message him to do that. So I had to make my video. I'm like, you know what? Okay, fine. This is what I have to work with. This is what you're going to get. Keep my name out of your mouth. I am not the keeper of your drama. Wow. That, that is crazy. That, that is crazy. It, that's, that's, that's why, that's, that's why this internet quote unquote friendship. I never have none. I, I just have all you guys as associates. You know, some are some some are close than others. You know, such as yourself. You're in my circle, but <laughs> but that's crazy. All all that on 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 like you said, company policies that had nothing to do between the two of them. Let me ask you this: your your friend that that initially initiated the situation, do he work for Walmart? No, does not. So again, my 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 thing is this: if you don't work for the company, have nothing to do with the company, why even bring the company into in, into a conflict between y'all two for? Well, yeah, I, I get exactly what you're saying, except for the con. You know, if you notice, Max's content is mostly about Walmart, right? Basically. Basically, so it's it's kind of hard not to involve the company in a conversation with Max of any kind. And so I'm not going to get into their beef with each other because I'm not going to misrepresent or represent lopsided the beef. That's for them. That's their story to tell. That's not mine. But I'm going to tell you that the fact that I got draw, drawn into this and that I got lumped in, not just by Max, but a handful of other people 
at the same time, who did not have very nice words for me, by the way, uh, as in terms of, quote, can't understand normal thinking was the term one of them had to use. It was like, wow, the fact that I got lumped into all of that, uh, goodbye, folks. Good luck. I wish you well. You will not be sharing space with me any longer. Well, Allie, go ahead and clear that out your memory. You really don't need that type of energy. You, you are yeah. good. You're a good-hearted, good energy type uh, of female that I do have the pleasure of knowing, and you know, Thank you. and I and, try to be. and definitely, definitely a, uh, a a friend of the Lockout Man Podcast Show. I really do appreciate the time i appreciate your insights and everything when we get together and uh and conversate on different uh topics and everything it's just unfortunate that you kind of got wheeled into a situation that in my opinion really didn't have nothing to do with you but mm -hmm. it as you said it is what it is yeah it's here i put my video out uh, they'll either see it or they won't. Uh, because at this point, I don't know if there's a way to come back from that. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to keep my life moving and uh, wish them all the best and all the blessings that they that the Lord has for them and, and keep going with my life. But I'll tell you this. If you want to talk about the other drama <laughs> on the video I made just before that, now there's a good story also. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound And I want you to miss me when I'm not around Come dive in my ocean, zip on my pool My love is like lotion, it's all over you You all over me, cause you my little boo How many times I gotta tell you, I don't fuck around Cause they got you insecure, you need your feelings now Don't start with all that crazy shit